Good evening everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Um, these are little, well I'm going to use the term walkie talkies but really they're, they're not. They are, I think it's VHF radios. Um, these things are on AliExpress. They're about £10 each by the time you've done with the shipping and I bought some black ones and from a different seller because the seller whom I bought these from didn't have white I bought some white ones and they are the white ones have a USB-C connector and the black ones have came with a have come sorry the black ones came with have come with um, a USB mini so other than that they seem to be identical however these two won't communicate with these two and what we're going to look at today is a few features of these and I'm going to show you how to program them so if you buy them from a different seller you can make them all communicate together so the radios themselves are actually really quite surprising the audio quality is fantastic so as you can see this is or you possibly can't this is a bf t20 from 400 to 470 megahertz and this battery is suspiciously like an old nokia battery i would not be at all surprised if that's not what that is so and the back just snaps on if we have a look at the black one So this is just a T20, not a BF T20, but the battery's identical, the case is identical. As I said, the only difference is the fact it's a USB mini. There is the provision, obviously, for a charging cradle, which I, I didn't buy. But, so, let's just turn... Power on. 16. Power on. Power on. Power on. One. Sixteen. Sixteen. So, the, I'll just turn the volume up. So the white radios, and the, <coughs> sorry. So when you press the PTT, it goes red. On the receiving radio, it goes green. So as you can see, those are paired. I'll just turn the volumes down a little bit on here, try and negate some of that feedback. And again, with the but the black and the red, uh, sorry, the black and the white won't communicate. What? What? So on the same channel, nothing. So, I'm going to show you how to program them, and there's a few other little features. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'll cover those now. Now, you may, you may not know this. If you press and hold the channel down button, oh. your radio will then go into... A scan mode where it will scan its frequency range now as I said earlier these do 400 to 470 megahertz but I didn't know when I ordered these there wasn't any way to specify them and the reason that the two wouldn't speak to each other is because these were on a different band to these different range of frequencies all in the 400 to 470 megahertz, but nevertheless different. So once I'd figured out how to work that out. So as you can see, look, that's just scanning. So if I transmit on this other radio, I'll just change the channel. One, two. So this is channel two. This one here is... 16. 16. So they're pretty much as far away as they can be. So I'm going to press the PTT button. 
sorry again I'll just too close let me just turn the volume right down okay so okay so it's detected what channel are we on three two so we're on channel two so if I go so it's still scanning so if again if we press and hold minus and it would say off and that's channel scan off if you press and hold the top button the channel up button you will temporarily disable the squelch at least until you let go I haven't been able to I don't think you can make it scan all through the frequencies with the squelch off but I believe the squelch is programmable in the software to program these things you press and hold the PTT button while turning the radio on just keep the button depressed for a second or two and then the radio is in programming mode and I'll show you that shortly so there we go um, as I said fairly brief overview there's plenty of other range tests I will say for the money they are remarkable um, so yeah absolutely EDC in my opinion an EDC so right bear with me and I'll just set the laptop up and we'll do a bit of programming right so the first thing we're going to do we're going to read the contents of this white radio now we've got the software and I know there's people going to be screaming at me OBS, OBS the, uh, I need to sort out a microphone I need to sort out better filming equipment I'm sorry I can't afford it at the moment so this is the best I can do so now that's over with so just where are we, there we are, sorry just this is the standard Bayerfeng connector programming cable that works with a multitude of radios so we've got the software on so hold down PTT turn the radio on just for a second and let go okay so now on the software if I go program and read data it says read data from interphone so if I just click read data and read Okay, there is my list of frequencies. So you can see it starts at 430.125 and goes to 437.725. So what I'll do, I'll just go to File, Save As, and I'm just going to put it on the desktop and I'm just going to call it white and it just saves you can't see this because it's off screen it just saves a white dot dat file to my desktop so I'll turn that radio off so the start frequency is 430 and it ends at 437 so that's quite a narrow band I shall now so I've now got one of the black oops wrong port you idiot one of the black radios Just turn that off connect that okay so PTT turn on just like go back to the software okay program read read And as you can see, this radio reads at 462125 to 46995. So it's on a completely set of different frequencies to the white radio. So again, file, 
save as and I'm just going to call this unsurprisingly black save that so I now have a black.dat file so question do I want to program this with the white frequency or do I want to program the white radios with the black frequency well, it doesn't really matter to me so what I'm going to do is seeing as this is just connected now and just to show you I'm going to go file open white dot dat open program write data and click write okay and then turn the radio off so that radio should oh. now 16 be on power on 2 1 16 and sorry you can't see this of course they are now testing testing they are now transmitting and receiving on exactly the same frequency and that is how to mix and match them now the software allows you to do other things as well for example optional features here you can set the default squelch level and you can set the default squelch level from off altogether to probably a, ma yeah, a, a maximum of nine you can time out timer I'm not entirely sure voice prompts I would certainly advise you to keep that as English the PF2 key which I've got to assume is the uh, minus key on here is programmable scan or local alarm so that could be useful um, Vox function and again you can adjust the levels and delays battery save and beep so there are plenty of optional functions that you can copy into these I'm not entirely sure what CTCSS or clear, or clear to I don't know I'm not entirely sure I really don't know what they are but they're just the default settings from the radio transmit power is high scan add as I say whatever and channel spacing so if you happen to so what I've got I've got 430 to 437 and 430 to 437 so it must be black then open like 430 to 437 and 462 to 469 if you read your data files and you get any that are different to mine if you would be so kind as to upload them or send me a link to them I'd be very grateful it'd be nice to get the entire range of frequencies that these things work on um, so there pretty much there you go these really rather remarkable little radios um, as I say for, for £10 a piece uh, uh, an absolute bargain especially given how programmable they are and, and hackable so yeah there we go folks thanks for watching I hope you find this useful and as always I'm not sponsored by anybody these are out of my own pocket I couldn't resist <laughs> couldn't resist them for that price. Take care. Thanks for watching.